Hey guys, one of the most important skills you're going to learn in mathematics is that you need to be very good at decoding worded problems. Decoding, what does that mean? It means to actually change the worded problem in mathematics into actual numbers and diagrams. So from a worded problem, you need to create maybe a diagram and you may need to create a number sentence so you can solve the question and answer the worded problem exactly as they want it. Now this skill needs a lot of practice and you're going to realize that with time you will get better but at the start it may be a little bit difficult. Now this skill needs you to read carefully and break down the question bit by bit. The first few questions we're going to do these lessons are simple. However, later on we're going to do more complicated questions and you're going to realize that it's very important to read carefully, to break down the question and to make sure that you didn't miss any information out in the example or in the worded problem that you have in front of you. Let's see these basic worded problems and you're going to notice how I break the question down to create an equation in these examples here and solve the missing number for these worded problems for these equations. The first one, it says if I have a certain number of lollies and buy 12 more lollies, I have 22 lollies in total. How many lollies did I have at the start? Well, guess what? There are key words that I look for. There are key words that I need to watch out for. It says, if I have a certain number, that's one key word, a certain number, meaning it's an unknown number, we don't know it, we're going to call it X. If I have a certain number of lollies, and I buy 12 more lollies, I buy, when I buy, what am I doing? I'm adding more. So, buying, I'm adding more, that's another key word. I have 22 lollies in total, so all together, I have 22 lollies. How many lollies did I have at the start? Meaning, we want to know that certain number. So now, we need to break that up and put it into mathematical format so we can solve it much easier. If I have a certain number of lollies, so I have a certain number, I'm not sure what it is, I'm going to call it X. And I buy 12 more, that means I'm going to add 12 more lollies to what I already have. And I have 22 lollies in total. That means all together I have 22 lollies. So all of a sudden I've created an equation from the worded problem I had in front of me. X is that certain number of lollies I already had and I bought 12 more, so add 12 all together, I have 22 in total. Now let's find out. It says, how many lollies did I have at the start? We want to know what x is. Well, we need to create an equation. We already did. Now we're going to solve the equation. What are we going to do? We're going to solve and find x. Well, we need to know that there is what we call the law of opposites. Plus 12 becomes minus 12 and minus 12 here. So that's our working out here and our working out there. X is going to be 22 take away 12, which is 10. 12 take away 12 is gone. X left. 22 take away 12 is 10. X is 10. That means I had 10 lollies to start with before I purchased and I bought my 12 lollies. Here, you can see we created an equation from the worded problem. Break down the problem, read it a couple of times, look for key words and key numbers and all of a sudden you'll solve it easily. The mathematics part is simple if you know your equations. It's just being able to decode the worded problem and take out the important information and putting it into mathematics and then solving it. Let's do another example. It says, I divide the marbles I have between nine friends and each one receives 12 marbles. How many marbles did I have at the start? Well, 
I divide. So guess what? There's division involved. The marbles I have between nine friends. So I have a lot of marbles. And I'm going to divide them between nine of my friends. And each one is going to get 12. How many marbles did I have at the start? Okay. Let's call or let's put y as our total number of marbles that I had at the start. y is the total marbles I have. I'm going to divide it between 9 of my friends. y divided by 9. And each one of them is going to get 12. All my marbles Divided by 9 of my friends, each one will get 12 marbles. Well, we can see again, this is a one-step equation. Well, we know divide, the opposite becomes times. Y over 9 equals to 12. Then 9 times 9 is gone, cancel each other out. And 12 times 9, we know is 108. And so y equals 108. I had 108 marbles at the start. Divided by 9 of my friends, each one is going to get 12 marbles each. Again, keywords, there was a divide. There it is. My total at the start, the y, I'm dividing by 9 of my friends. There it is. And each one's going to get 12. Very important to be able to decode the information and put it into mathematics. It's a very critical skill that you need to know from now all the way through high school. Another one there, it says a number is subtracted from 35 and the result is 10. What is the number? Now here we need to be careful. A number is subtracted from 35. Now I've seen students write it in a funny way. I'm going to do the correct way first and then I'm going to show you how I've seen students write this one. A number is subtracted from 35 and the result is 10. That means if we're saying a number is subtracted from 35, meaning 35 is taking away the number, we're going to be left with 10. Very important, the word from, that's a key word there. A number is subtracted from 35. So 35 take away this number. We're going to have 10. Let's see how we're going to solve this one. 35 take away x. We know that the x, we will always like it to be at the front. So what do we do? We reverse them over. Negative x, just put it here. And that's a positive 35, put it there. It's easier to work with like this. Now we can solve. So what we've done, we just swapped them around. Negative x, there it is. Positive 35, there it is. Just easier to work with. Now our rule is positive 35. We know law of opposite, minus 35. Negative x. 35 take away 35 is gone. 10 take away. 35 is negative 25. So negative x equals negative 25. There's another trick here. The trick is when you have a negative on one side and another negative on the other side of the equation, they say goodbye, bye-bye, they are gone. That means x is 25. That means what is the number that was subtracted from 35? That number is 25. We had 35 at the start. Take away 25 equals to 10. This is how it's done. Now, what I mentioned earlier, I have seen students where they go like this. They go x minus 35 equals 10. Big, big mistake because it's not x take away 35. It is the number is being subtracted from 35. So don't ever write it like that. Be careful. The word from makes a big difference. That's the key word in that. So we never do that at all. Very important that we read the question carefully and then we can get it right. We create an equation 
and then we can actually solve it straight away. Now, I'm going to do one example where we have a diagram, and from the diagram, we're going to create an equation and solve for the missing number. We have this shape, and we are told that perimeter of this shape is 36. So the perimeter, the boundary of this shape, the total is 36. We would like to know what x is. Well, looking at the diagram, we can tell that we need to make an equation to find x. Let's make the equation. To make the equation, we need the information, which is all the sides, all of them added up, make the perimeter, because the perimeter is adding up all the sides. All of them added up equal to 36. Let's make the equation. Let's create the equation now. Starting here, this side here is 3x. This side here is 2x. This side there is x. And this side here, what do you think is going to be? This mark and that mark tell us that this side is exactly the same size as that side. So this one is, the fourth one is going to be 3x as well. So 3x plus 2x plus x plus 3x all together make up the total perimeter of 36. Now, we need to have, or we need to simplify this further to, sol to solve our equation. 3x plus 2x plus x plus 3x. Guess what? They are all like terms, meaning we can simplify them, we can add them together. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9, 9x equals to 36. So now we've simplified our equation, we've created the equation, we've simplified it, there it is, and now we can solve the equation. 9x, what does that mean? It means, we learnt, 9x actually means 9 times x. And we know the opposite of times is divide by 9, divide by 9. Then 9 divided by 9 is gone, 1, 1x. One 36 divided by 9, x is going to be 4. So we have the diagram. From the diagram, we look closely, we make sure we have every single side. Yes, we do 3x, 2x, x and 3x. And we create our equation. This plus that plus that plus that all together will equal to 36. If they're all equal to 36, let's simplify it further. 3x plus 2x plus x plus 3x, 9x altogether. Divide by 9, x is going to be 4.